Hello there again, folks. Welcome to another Train Sim World 2 video. Uh, after much head scratching on the price that this thing listed as when it released on Steam uh, earlier this morning, it was usually the price of about a route, but Dovetail has since fixed that. It only took roughly three hours, but uh, it's here and there's still a discount. So as of right now, you can get this thing for about 17 and change uh, US dollars anyway a bit of a preface I know next to nothing about uh, the Deutsche Bahn and German rail network and operation but I like it because it's challenging I've got a newfound love for PZB anyway this is the new 101 it is an intercity uh, locomotive with intercity coaches behind it which is the first of its kind for train some world as a whole really uh we've got the regio we've got s bond uh we've got the high speed the ice so this is the first real um true intercity um deutsche bahn train for trains in world 2 and we're going to take a look at it this is the tutorial loaded up real quick we're going to do that going to look at the uh, scenarios what we got what kind of services we got and just my general crummy opinion my views are that of my own and uh, we're just going to take a look at it here. So let's get started. Driver training here at Duisburg Depot. Today you'll be learning to drive this BR101 locomotive. Matt P again. Traffic red livery. This brief introduction will cover critical driving controls and passenger operations. Climb aboard to get started. It looks pretty good. I've, I've seen a, a few pictures of it uh, that didn't look that great. Uh, if I'm honest, but it looks pretty good looking at it in the flesh here. You know what? I'll go ahead and... Uh... Yeah, we'll have a quick look around here. The the weathering and the just the general crap all over it looks really nice. All kinds of dead bugs and things oil grease it's brown got a rail dust along the bottom that looks pretty nice very detailed loud too ah that away all right in due course let's figure out how to drive Take this a seat thing in the driver's position this is where you'll be spending most of your time we will be looking at the coaches as well Ooh, that door. That door shut sound was girthy. Ooh. That's got some uh that's got some bass to it. Alright, so you cannot go back in the uh, engine compartment. As of right now, I'm guessing ever. So that is not operable getting back there. Oh well. Alright, let's hop in and see what Mr. Matt has to say tell us oh wise one teach us how to drive the 101 okay I was expecting some dialogue but uh, insert the reverser handle control W the reverser determines the direction of travel yes it does Set it to neutral. There we go. Set the exterior lights for the expected operation. Uh, reduced. There we go. Can't see. Release the parking brake. Forwards. Brake key. This is crucial. It's just about on every German uh, locomotive in the game. It's time to get going. For this introduction, you'll be driving from here, Duisburg, to Essen Hauptbahnhof. After departing Duisburg Hauptbahnhof, you'll be taught how to activate the AFB control system. Ooh. Release the brakes and apply a small amount of power to get moving. Okay. Oh, look at that. The window lock. That's cool. That's new. That's nice. Got a nice thunk. So you can unlock it and then roll it back. Nope. 
Nope, not the door. Oh, there we go. That's cool. That's very high tech. Alright, let's do what Matt says here. Train brake to running. Give her some juice. 20% sounds lovely. Alright, use the throttle to apply some power and reach a speed of 35 kmh. I gotta check it. I gotta check it. That sounds just like the ICE horn, but it's not a bad sound. I don't think it quite sounds like the DBBR 101 that I've seen a couple of YouTube videos of, but it does kind of have a dual tone to it. Um, but it's better than just the the one sharp squeal that a lot of these uh, German multiple units and locomotives have. Let's see if there's another one. Alright, so space and in key are the same. Thing looks pretty good though. I do have some I and I settings tweaked. These coaches look fantabulous. Showing where we're going. Very cool. And the engine sounds good as well. Yeah, that sounds nice. So, this thing, um... I don't really know, I don't want to misspeak, but it was inherently and mostly created by uh, a fellow named Mike Goltz from TSG, uh, who also made a few other locomotives um, for Train Sim World and Train Sim World 2 and Train Simulator. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Okay, do I need to stop? Yes! Oh my god! Stop. But anyway, that's why I was a bit excited to jump into this thing, because he had a hand in it, and uh, all, of, all of his stuff has been pretty damn good so far. Alright. Uh, Mr. Matthew is not happy with where I stopped, so I'm going to back up. Uh-oh, there's a red light lit up on the dash. Is it, is it going to let me... There we go. Come on, baby. module failure signal past the danger oh man I suck so you know what we'll just get into it honestly we'll just see how we fare there's gonna be a million tutorial videos out there there already are uh, there's gonna be a million more so we'll just hop right in the damn thing we'll take a look um, let's see so what do we got for the timetable where's our locomotive Alright, let's see what we got. So there's quite a few. What is that, like 30, 20, 30? Something like that? There's quite a few. Uh, also, I'd like to note, for those of you that, that may not be in the loop, this is for Halbstrick Rhein Ruhr, which is a an old route that came from the original Train Sim World. So you will need that to play this thing. Let's see what kind of scenarios we got for it here. It's not my favorite German route, but uh, hopefully they will layer the 101 and its coaches into the other routes. All right, so we've got one, two, three. And thankfully, none of them are at nighttime because I absolutely hate 
Uh, train some world at night. Um, that one looks alright. This one looks very difficult. Anyway, so I'm just going to see if I can break the thing. We're going to hop into a... So we got three scenarios. Let's see. We'll put it on summer, summer, summertime. And we'll take a look at the uh, coaches and all that good stuff. There we go. Summer clear. All right. Where can we go? Please tell me they don't all end there. Okay, they do not. Because you can you can go from end to end on this route pretty darn quick. Um, let's see. We'll have a nice nice morning movement here. I see 225 Duisburg to Bochum. Uh, what is this? 829. Drive the center city service from Duisburg to Bochum. Aye, aye. All right. Let's see if we can get on here. I've, I've never been crazy, just a bit of a preface, I've never been crazy about the German stuff in Train Sim Classic, because there's a lot of it, um, and it's kind of scary, but in this, I feel like the German stuff in Train Sim World and Train Sim World 2 were some of the best stuff, so, and, and more in the past year, I've become more akin to driving said uh, stock and trying to learn PCB operation and all that i still know absolutely nothing about pcb basically every signal i see i just hit the uh, pcb clear <laughs> so i know i know jack about it but uh I'm, I'm trying to learn here anyway let's take a look at this thing we're gonna hop out and take a look all right so we still cannot go back here This thing has definitely got a unique sound on the outside. And it's not bad. It's, uh... It sounds original, that's for sure. OG. Oh, Loud, too. Woo. Make your hair stand on end just walking by. So these are like really nice coaches here, something we haven't had yet. Um, as far as I remember in Train Sim World, they've got their own compartments here. You know, kind of like the one Greta Thunberg and her family lied about not having. If uh, some of you remember that. All right, yes, please, thank you. I'd like to, I'd like to board the coach. Thank you. Alright. Oh, God, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. No. Oh, thank you. I was trying to get this bar open here. I don't think you can. Yeah, that's, that's no dice. That's fine. Anyway, do the buttons work? Oh. That's a good sound, too. It's like the windows don't operate. The carpet looks very nice. It looks pretty spiffy in here. Oh no, you can't open the door to the shitter. It's the end of the world. I know a lot of uh, train sim weebs would so desperately love to get in the shitter. But again, you cannot do it. It's the end of the world. Literally unplayable. Terrible. Moving on. Let's see. Any of these buttons work? Let's see what we can press here. Nope. That's all right. We got a bunch of. Oh, this is in English as well. Look at that. What to do in the event of a fire? Remain calm. <laughs> okay. Sure thing. All right. Let's go back here and. Tickets, please. Tickets. This table open up? No. 
Even got a little air conditioner uh, doodad over there, control knob. The seats look very nice and comfortable. Do you mind, miss? Do you mind? Hello. Guten Abend. She's not very friendly. Alright, yeah, those compartments look good. That guy looks suspect. He looks like he just crawled out of a drain pipe or something. Alright, let's see what the other coaches appear. I like those doors as well. Ah, right, here we go. Big doubles. Listen to that sound. Holy shnikes. I feel like it's a very rare occurrence when we get good sounds in Train Sim World 2. But by God, if these doors don't sound amazing. Oh no, I won't, no, let me out, let me out! I am trapped in the door. Oh, no I'm not. Alright, so we have got our PIS, Duisburg to Mulheim. Alright, this is still one. So these are all... These are some long coaches, too, just looking at them. From end to end. They seem long. Maybe they're not. Alright, we'll go outside and see if they're uh, different here. Let's open the door. Hello? Hello? I can't get out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, don't mind me. I wasn't standing here trying to get off or anything. Frickin' AI. Move. Alright, so, it looks like we have, what, two first-class coaches and then second class? What's so different about these? Let's take a look. Oh, even the little step pops down there. That is nice. Dude, these coaches are, uh... Tip top, man. No, I do not want to give up control. I'm trying to look around. Thank you. We got our luggage rack. Yep, so this is legit scum class. Of course, I'm kidding. This is second class. You don't have your own compartment. Uh, but the seats here look pretty darn comfortable as well. They look nice. I don't think the floor looks as good in here as, as in the first class, but uh, whatevs. I would like to get back out, please. Is there like a cafe car or something? Alright, so that's number two. Two. So that's coach class as well. Coach. There's no like snack? Snack car? Alright, one of the other issues a lot of people had with this pack is what you see right here. Just the ass end of the train. And while it does look nice, this thing is modeled fabulously again. Um, a lot of these have a... I don't know what it's called. Pardon my non-German train knowledge. Have a cab car. Um, this didn't come with it. So, that's all there is to say about that. Um, so let's go back up to the engine. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Thing looks damn good though. I love that white and red. Loud boy. Hey, you can't get in there. I see you eyeballing it. This thing looks good, man. Very nice. Very detailed. Alright, enough faffing about. Let's go. That lovely door close sound. That is... That's thick, man. It's got some bass. Alright, these chairs are not operable, it would appear, as far as moving them up and down, unfortunately. 
Um, okay, so what do we got? Usually PZP and everything and, and Sifa and all that's on the back wall, yes? What do we got over here? PZB, Sifa? I do not care. I know it's not realistic, but I'm I'm not going to deal with that. I don't do Sifa. We will turn PZB on, though. Hopefully everything works right. I don't know how to use it properly, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Multiple unit method. Hmm. So I think some of these services have two locomotives on either end. I, I feel like I read that. I could be wrong. Let's change our lighting setup here. Signal lights to headlights. Parking brake. Uh, okay, so now it's released. I actually just set it. Whoops. Yep. Don't. That's the battery switch. Would like to do a cold and dark, but this is not the time. That's a CIFA button. Right on. Alright. Let's see. We have anything else to mess with here. See what we got down here. Nada. That's our AFB. AFB. Alright, what's this? Nothing new? Stop asking me. Emergency brake and our wipers. And here's the window. That's cool, man. So that's that's that high speed kind of suction, sucking you out of the train protection type thing, I guess. That's pretty hardcore. Alright, brake key. Unlocked. Well, hold on. Hold on. The horn has a different sound interior. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, it's just the exterior where it sounds like the, uh, one of the ICEs. Even look in here, man. Just the, the crap, you know, somebody's liter of cola spilled all over the uh, the door there. Just running down the little drips. This thing is nicely modeled. This guy just absolutely murders detail with these things. These things. The, uh, the, the DB stock for Transom World. It looks fantastic. Oh, disc light. There we go. There's the cab light. So shift L. And even that's got a nice hue to it. It's not just white, you know. So that's nice. All right. Nope. Let me get that back off. There we go. All right. Let's see. That is our compressor. I think you can set that to... Uh, no, here's what I'm thinking of. The traction motor fan. You can set that to automatic or on all the time. See if there's an actual uh, change in sound. So we got train line. We, we can already tell we've got power. The catenary is touching our locomotive. Door locking up. We need to open the doors actually here. Maybe not. Okay, we'll lock them. So you can actually hear the traction motor fan. That's that's a nice differentiation between sound there, between automatic and just on. Alright, what else we got here? Train lights. I think they're already on. We got our sand. Headlights, signal lights, what are we looking like? Looking gravy. Master and instruments. These things should pop on here as well. So that's a brightness. Kind of takes a minute. Doesn't seem to do much. Get that maxed out. Okay. We got the key in, right? There we go. Reverser handle is in. Let's put it forwards. Stirrung. Stirrung. 
Alright, I did not turn on Sifa, so I think that means it's off, right? Let's see. What the hell was that? PCB off, LZB on. PCB on, LZB off. So do you not have a choice? Is there just Sifa regardless? I hope not. I hate Sifa with a passion. Alright, let's get the brakes off here. And I think Dovetail announced with a lot of their new stock and trains, the PIS uh, should be automatically set up from wherever you go uh, on routes and whatnot. So let's check that out. What was our... Duisburg to Bochum. Yep, so that's already set up. Good deal. What else can we play with here before we set off? That's our display. Uh, I think that's our traction motor. Visual aid. Uh, how do I get out of that? Thank you. The power we are... Uh, here's your contrast buttons. So it actually gets darker. And there's nighttime and daytime modes. Very cool. Uh, yeah, and while I'm here, I'm going to look real quick. Does this thing come with a manual? Let's see. I didn't even look. A lot of stuff's not been coming with a manual lately. No! It does not come with a manual. So uh, pay attention on that tutorial, guys. Don't fail. Like my dumb ass. Uh, I'll, I'll go back and do it. But uh, All right, anyway, let's set off here. breaking all kinds of German railroad law by applying the horn, but that's fine. We'll be as safe as possible. It sounds good. It, it feels good so far, too, applying uh, power. All right, so we've got a, a flashy, I'm going to call it a flashy, flashy setting here. I think that means you got to stick to 40 kmh. In certain situations, you can clear that, but uh, I'm not even going to try it. So let's get up to 40. So I was, uh, I was seeing that I was seeing in, in some areas that uh, the actual dash lights weren't lighting up. Um, people talking about it on forums and Discord and etc. etc. But they seem to work now. Some people were saying if LZB is on, they don't work. If it's not on, they do work. I'm not that astute with German operation. But they seem fine so far. Of course, with a high-speed intercity service, you most likely would have LZB. All right, we're gonna we're gonna cut it off right there at 40 kmh just to be safe. Get off the siding. Thing sounds nice. Okay, we are now clear for track speed. Yeah, I think those are our traction motors and the power that's being output there. It looks cool, so we'll leave it on. Give her a bit more juice. Oh, wheel slip. Damn, this thing is powerful. Or it's really heavy. Probably a little bit of both. So you've got to uh, you got to watch out. You can't just slam this thing full, full on and expect to go. There goes a Regio. Man, I just love the German stuff in Trains and World. 
I mean, we were lucky with Clinchfield as an American and fan of American railroading. But uh, I feel like the German stuff has always been up there with Trains and World. Some of the better uh, add-ons, in my opinion. Also, it's worth noting, uh, performance-wise, it seems fine. Um, I never got really good frames on, on Helpstrick Rhinroar to begin with because it's, it's got a lot of lines and a lot of catenary and there's generally a lot going on on Helpstrick Rhinroar. Uh, a lot of trains, a lot of services. Um, other than that, it seems completely normal so far. I love the inside sound of the horn. That sounds more like what I know the, the horn sounds like, IRL. The exterior, on the other hand, not so much. It's, again, it's not terrible, though, you know. Going a little bit fast, so I'm going to break a hair. You can see the, the traction motors reversing polarity. Over there on the left-hand screen, that's cool. This thing feels... Uh, it, it feels like it's got some weight to it, you know? It, uh... Feels girthy. Feels like it's got some drag. Alright, we need to start breaking here. But yeah, the, the guy that made this engine here made the... Uh, electric multiple unit that came with this route um, for Trains in World 1. And that thing was equally good. Oh no, I'm using the horn! I clear every light, every signal, every one. I really need to, uh, to crack down and, and start crunching the uh, the PCB system. I know Matt Pedelson has made a, a great video that I've, I've tried to watch a couple of times about uh, PCB and, and German operation. And, and luckily for me and people like me, it's not one thing over the whole of Germany. There are multiple types of uh, signaling you know, just like in the States. Alright, let's see how well this thing breaks here. German electric locomotives generally break pretty damn good. Multiple units, on the other hand. Eh. Oh, we got it. I did something. So we got a 500 hertz magnet up ahead, which is a red, in this case. Alright, let's open the doors. Let's try and figure out how to do it manually. Uh, door locking. Unlock left. There we go, that worked. You can hear the uh, compressor. Dude, this thing sounds amazing. This thing sounds really nice. The uh, compressor building back up. A charge for the brakes. I am totally digging this thing so far. Big red. Now, I know... I know a little bit about a lot of stuff. There are people that know a lot of stuff about a little bit. 
um, I know there's going to be some stuff out there where people's like, oh, the, the headlight is too big. It's not like that in real life and all that crap. But just as a whole, on the grand scale of things right now, it looks pretty damn good. Let's see what the uh, bits up here look like. There's that dual tone horn. Alright, let's see. Are we done? Yes, let's lock the doors. Uh... Was that... Did that emit from the train? I don't think I've heard that before. Let's try that again. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. I just unlocked the doors over there. Please don't get out, people. There's a ten-foot drop and a highway. All right, let's close them again. See if we get that note. Ah, ah, what is that? Why is that happening? That's cool as hell. So that is the train, and you hear it in the cab as well, which is interesting. All right, so we've still got a 500 hertz magnet, and we are limited to 40 kmh again. I think it's actually 45, but you want to do 40. Let's see. Let's see if it disappears once we get up here. So it looks like about 35% is a good uh, starting point. We are on a 0.5% uh, upslope right now. Thing feels pretty powerful. You you gotta give it a minute to put its uh put its foot down, get some grip. There's fifty. And it's even got a, a little bit of a bassy hum. I don't know how well you can hear that in the video, but uh this thing sounds pretty damn nice. Ah, there we go. There's my first PZB failure, guys. It did not like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in neutral. Max out the brakes. Going to acknowledge the PZB. Release it and override it. Did I go over 45 just then? I don't think I did. Maybe I did acknowledge something? Alright, put it back in gear. Let's see if it gives us pressure. It looks like it is. Oh, I had the throttle on. My mistake. There we go. Gonna give us some juice. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. So as soon as we, as soon as we pass that uh, signal right there, it went back up to uh, standard line speed. All right. At this point, we will do a flyby. See how this bad mamma jamma sounds to the outside world. Hopefully, uh, PZB doesn't smack us on the ass again.
Man, SBD, silent but deadly. Thing was almost non-existent audibly uh, until it got right up on us. All right, it's in eight kilometers. Ooh, we're getting some wheel slip. We're on a 1.3 upgrade right now. Man, from uh, from my limited perspective and knowledge of uh, all things German railroading, especially in trains and world, this thing is nice. This thing is really nice. It sounds amazing. I don't know too much about these IRL. I I know. About 150 of them were made, I think. Um, they were brought in to replace, I think, the aging DBBR120. Um, hauling uh, inner city services, kind of like what we're doing here. That's about the extent of my real world uh, knowledge of this train set. But hopefully this will give some insight to some uh, English speakers. Because uh, with a lot of German stuff and, and Austrian, Swiss, what have you, when it comes to train sim, it's, it's not always easy finding videos and, and explanations of things uh, in English. I know it's my own damn fault. I should just learn to speak German. I know it teeny tiny bit, but uh, hopefully this this will help out and, and give a good kind of quick look um, for English speaker that, uh, that may not be able to find a video otherwise. Other than the um, the obvious, you know, dovetail streams, which you know, they're, they're never going to say anything bad about their own stuff, so... This, this here is uh, completely unbiased. It comes out of my own pocket. Just FYI. Four twenty two. I don't know which one of these to clear, so we're going to clear both. This route uh, is currently on sale right now as of this moment. Um, there's another sale on. Today's the 22nd of April, 2021. Um, so if you don't have this, you can get it and the route for about 30 bucks, I think. Ooh. I think I was supposed to clear that. And it's it's a decent route. It's just not one of those visually stunning routes. Um, it's more industrious, but it's huge. There are a ton of lines. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. What'd I do? I broke it again. You'll break, you bye. I think I didn't clear that signal back there because I was sitting here yapping away, not paying attention. Steer going. Override ain't working right now. Alright, we're so close to. Alright, back in neutral. There we go. Reset it. We've got a limited speed now, 40 kmh. Yeah, I did not acknowledge that. Uh, just gonna keep saying that. There we go. 
got his point across, said it about a good 50 times. Yeah, again, you may be watching this laughing. I, I likely would be. I don't know PCB that well. I'm still trying to come to grips with it. I'm learning. I am but a young Padawan in the ways of PZB. But it's... It's cool, you know? It'll be it'll be nice one day to be like, yeah, I know PZB. It's, uh, it's difficult. It's... You know, it's not like American railroading where you just maybe pop the alerter once in a while or uh, UK railroading which I you know both very much like where there's just the AWS and you reset that you know that's easy peasy this is on a whole nother level but it, it just it gives the game a little bit more depth trying to use LCB PZB and CIFA um, as it is, instead of just driving it unnaturally with it off, which is what I used to do. And I was bored. And then uh, I, st I started trying to use it. Ah? What? What did he say? Yep. 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 Duly noted. But anyway, this thing is phenomenal so far. Oh, shnikes. Was I going too fast through there? And I'm certain I'm not doing it wrong because, uh... Wait, I did... That, that was completely backwards. I'm certain I am doing it wrong. Um... So that's that's nothing on the locomotives or the routes fault. That's uh that's entirely my own. Um I just need to learn PZP. Uh I need to get good. Get good. But uh as of right now the thing is damn nice. I can't wait to use it on some of the other routes. Obviously I have to make some of my own. Uh go ahead and unlock the doors here. Gonna have to make some of my own um scenarios, obviously. I'm sure other people will make some as well hopefully, uh, and get this sucker on some of the other routes, because Hopstrek Rhine Roar is pretty short as it is. It's busy, but it's it's pretty short, so I, I hope to see this on something, you know, like Munich Augsburg or uh, Aachen Cologne. Um, I don't know if they run there in real life. As far as I know, I think these things run pretty much all over the country, uh, but that would be nice. But uh, just... Wanted to give you guys a, a quick look, as always. Not a not an in-depth review by any means. Just uh, just a quick look and listen, and uh, that's what we did here today. So thanks for watching, guys. Shall catch you next time. Uh, take care out there. See you later.